So here we are again, just getting ready for the next auction, 15th of November at the National Motorcycle Museum. This time we're having viewing on Tuesday afternoon, so between 1 and 6, you'll be able to come to the museum and view the bikes. Of course, on Wednesday morning, we'll be there at 9 for more viewing. Scooter session starts at 11, I think, uh, motorcycle section at 1. We have just over 230 lots this time, uh, ranging from everything, from project scooters for £1,000 right up to what superiors, uh, further up the price scale. So there's something for everybody, every shape and size, every manufacturer going. A couple of interesting bites here for a bit of contrast. This is a silk. Now that drew out of the old Scott name. Scott made two-stroke bikes, water cool bikes, right back in the 30s. This was a modern take on that idea. Basically using the silk layout, the bottom end of the engine, but wrapped up in all new 1980s, early 80s bodywork. Just as a contrast, this would have been a Japanese version of a water cooled two-stroke. So 750 GT 750 Suzuki, water cooled 3 cylinder 750. In the 70s, this were one of the super bikes, one of the faster, better bikes you could buy. So we have over 30 scooters in the scooter section of the auction, uh, ranging from even Aerial 3 projects right through to a very early 1947 and Vespa 98. This white one here is a Vespa GS, uh, mid 60s. In the mid 60s, this would have been the best scooter that Vespa made, the quickest scooter they made. Iconic, very rounded design, very recognizable. The silver one is uh, the Vespa PX. The PX was the end of the line for the proper geared, steel bodied, two stroke scooters. And uh, they're right back to the original 1946 design. Both of these scooters have been part in Drew Pritchard's uh, personal collection. Drew is famous for a TV show, Salvage Hunters, it was around the country rescuing really antiques and uh, architectural uh, antiques. His personal interest is in classic cars and bikes, so these two bikes have been in his collection. In fact, he bought the PX brand new. Came with a full tooling kit, so it's a very well equipped scooter, uh, very good investment for the future. They don't make this model anymore. Emission regulations caught up with it in the late 2017-ish, uh, something like that. So a chance to get a proper Vespa that's got modern day brakes and suspension and electrics. This is a mid-30s, I think 1937 Rudge Ulster. In the day, this would have been as sportive a bike as you could get. Four valve head, bronze cylinder head. Back in the day, a lot of race bikes would have started life with this engine. Even Enzo Ferrari ran a race team in the era using Rudge Ulsters as the starting point. So, very collectible bike, obviously a very expensive bike in this day and not many have survived. Within the auction, obviously we've got things ranging from the early 1900s through to the early 2000s. Some interesting contrast, uh, we've got a 1930s rough 1150. Interestingly, with that one, the vendor bought it in the mid 60s for 22 pounds and 10 shillings. So we can certainly make him a bit of profit. As a contrast to that, there is one of the new reincarnations of the Bruffs in the auction, 2017, probably manufactured, uh, built in the spirit of the old Bruffs. So it'd be good to look at the auction and compare the two bikes and look at the similarities over the years. Also then things like Vincent's, plenty of Vincent's in the auction. There's a nice Vincent, well actually a Norvince or a Vincent engine in a Nord Prey. Reconstructed recently using brand new state-of-the-art components. Beautiful looking back on well worthwhile looking at. We also have a collection of 22 bikes uh, from one vendor. Uh, motorcycle enthusiast all his life up in the North Lakes. Uh, unfortunately having to sell them off now due to ill health. But he has 22 bikes, essentially 70s and 80s bikes. Lots of BMW flat twins. From an R75 right up to a couple of GSs. There's a 1000 GS and an 1100 GS. All been stood for a while, but all in really good condition. It was using them up to the point where he had to give up. Many of them come with panniers, nice extras fitted. Uh, so well worthwhile looking at that collection. There's really every permutation of flat twin going from that era. The auction then is on the 15th of November at the National Motorcycle Museum. Just remember then viewing on Tuesday afternoon uh, from one o'clock till six. We'll open at nine on the day of the auction, scooter session first, and then the motorcycle section after that. Information about all the lots is available on our website at www.hnh.co.uk. 
You can come in person and attend the auction, obviously study the bikes, look at the bikes properly. If you can't manage to come, you can register to bid, you can bid online or you can book a telephone bid. So we hope to see as many of you as possible at the auction. It's always a good day out, it's a great venue, very near the M42 motorway, free parking, decent cafe there, lots of bikes to look at and obviously a very interesting auction to get involved in.